Hey folks, this is the Nazgul. In today's video, we'll be reviewing one of the most iconic and best attack aircraft in DCS and in real life, the Harrier. Due to its ability to take off and land vertically and to carry Maverick missiles and APK's rockets, it is widely used on DCS servers to cause a lot of destruction wherever it goes. We'll fly on the Shadow Reapers and four YA servers launching Mavs, APKs, showing a little of the Harrier's qualities. Enjoy and have fun. And don't forget to give your like and subscribe. We are on the Shadow Reaper server in Palmyra. Our mission will be to destroy vehicles at waypoint 11. So let's move on. Tower, Nazgul, request takeoff. Nazgul, takeoff authorized. Wind is calm and pressure 2992. Copy tower. Rolling. Gear up. Nozzles up. Palmyra is a very important city. Here you will find Roman ruins and medieval castles. Waypoint 11 is just ahead. We will use the sensor on the Harrier's nose to find our targets. Press sensor select after twice to activate it. And to use the Maverick press cage uncage button and then sensor select forward. Rifle. Flying a Harrier requires us to fly low to avoid appearing on enemy radar. Since it has no data link, it is necessary to have a good situational awareness. We have a MIG or a flanker on the RWR. We have to be careful. Shack. Let's turn around and look for more targets. Again, after selecting the target, press cage, uncage, and sensor select forward. Rifle. Choosing another target. Rifle again. In these air to ground missions, it's always a good idea to launch flares after an attack. Since we're exposed, there's always a SAM nearby ready to attack us. Boom, shack both targets.
using the Harrier's sensor again to locate our targets. Our last map. Rifle. The good thing is that the Harrier brings a lot of flares. Shack. There is another ally also attacking the targets there. Let's RTB. Tower, Nazgo, request landing. Nazgo, landing authorized. Wind is calm and pressure is 2992. Copy. Here in the HUD, we have nozzles and flaps information. Out. Now we are on the coast of Syria. We are going to bomb the runway of the Basel al-Assad airbase. For this, we are going to use four Mark 83 bombs. Caution, caution. Tower, Nazgul, start taxi. Copy, Nazgul. Report when ready for takeoff. I always bring a sidearm in case I encounter any Sam. Rolling. Down the nozzles. Gear up. Retracting nozzles and flaps. The GCI is showing that we have enemies less than 10 miles. Let's keep low. I will also switch to air-to-air -air mode. One of the best things about the Harrier is its wide view from the cockpit. I believe that after the F-16, it has the best view from the cockpit. Three miles, looking for eye contact. There he is, engaging. Seems to be a frog foot. Fox two. Flash. Back to our mission. There's another enemy close, but we don't have more missiles. We'll have to stay low.
We are 10 miles from the target. When we are five miles away, we will climb and attack. Seven miles. Five miles, climbing. There. Running in. Pickle one, two, three, and four. Shack. Done. The airbase is on fire. Time to get out of here. Out. Now let's try to land a little more vertically. Out. Our plan now is to take off from the Invincible Carrier and attack the Hatai base. We are now flying on the 4YA server. Let's take off. Tower Nazgul, request takeoff. Nazgul, clear for takeoff. The deck is yours. Good, thanks. Rolling. Down nozzles near to 40 degrees. Gear up. Start turning them slowly. Flaps up. Look at these mountains, beautiful. DCS is not just about dropping bombs. We will stay low to avoid appearing on the radars. Notice how open this cockpit is. The Harrier was the plane that brought me back to DCS. I think there were other clickable modules, 
but it was this one that made me want to fly simulators again. I flew Flaming Cliffs planes for many years, but this one was the one that made DCS shine again for me. Choosing our target with TGP, we are close to Hatai. Let's use the Maverick. Rifle. Shack. Barrett is now under our control. Hot and cold spawns are available for you there. Let's look for another target. I saw there what appeared to be a Shilka. On this server, we have the red smoke and laser of the JTAC. However, I like to use the TGP for training. Here we can see the laser line of the JTAC. Rifle. If you like air to ground missions, Above is the link to the video about the five most used air-to-ground weapons by DCS pilots. Check it out. Shack the Shilka. Now let's use one of the most beloved weapons, the APKWS rockets very famous among A-10 and Harrier pilots. Let's make a mark with our TV sensor near the red smoke. We can activate the TGP by pressing sensor select down twice. There seems to be something in that smoke. Turning on the laser. Rifle. These rockets are very fast. They are usually useful from five miles onwards. It depends on the altitude at which they are launched. Shack. Another target for our rockets. Seems to be another Shilka. Running in. Rifle multiple shot. Boom. One more target. Although we are not using JTAC, his laser helps us find the targets. By pressing sensor select right, we change the color of the TGP infrared image. By pressing left, we zoom in.
running in again. Activating the laser. Rifle. Boom, shack. Let's come back to the carrier. Gear and flaps down. Also down the nozzles. Try to keep 600 feet. Turning the nozzles near to 60 degrees. Base turn. Eighty two degrees now. If I haven't forgotten, eighty two degrees is standard for landing on carrier. I think I put it at eighty two a little early, but it's the lack of practice. Now we are flying like a helicopter. I'm going to pull the stick a little to slow down. I think we have to go a little further. Okay, starting to go down. Touchdown, brake. Retract the nozzles, flaps, and turn off the water. Caution, caution. Let me know in the comments if you fly the Harrier and what you think of it. For me, because of the great view from the cockpit, I prefer it over the A-10, not to mention that it operates from aircraft carriers. I hope you had fun with our air-to-ground missions. The Harrier is a very good aircraft. That's why it's so famous. Don't forget to give your like and subscribe to the channel. Many thanks, guys. See you soon. See ya.